Has this thought ever crossed your mind? If aliens really do exist, why haven't they contacted us yet? And with the huge number of sightings taking place around the world, it definitely seems like 2024 is the year in which aliens will finally make contact with humanity. Will this interaction be peaceful or hostile? Only time will tell. For now, all we know is that alien and UFO activity are at an all-time high, and all this just proves one thing, that we are actually not alone in this vast universe. So let's check out the many times that aliens have presented themselves right in front of us. Mind you, some of these sightings have been recorded by respected military personnel using high-tech army-grade equipment, adding further credibility to something that is still believed to be unknown. So without wasting any further time, let's check out these 17 shocking UFO sightings. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Number 1, UFO reported over New York's LaGuardia Airport. This is the latest sighting in the list. This shocking sighting took place just recently in March 2024. Michelle Reyes was on a commercial flight above New York's LaGuardia Airport on March 25th. She was casually recording a video of New York skyline, like most travelers do as their plane gets ready to land, when suddenly, she spotted something very unusual. She saw a mysterious, eerie-looking black disc-like object zooming past her plane from right to left. The dark object was traveling at roughly 2,500 feet above ground level and was relatively close to the plane. The motion was really quick, but if we pause the footage, you can clearly see that this UAP was neither a drone nor any manned aircraft that we know of. Now let's see the footage in real time. Even if we consider the fact that the plane and the UFO are moving in opposite directions, it still seemed like the UFO was moving at tremendous speeds, like a fighter jet. No man-made drone yet, can achieve Mach speed while flying. After recording the footage, Michelle Reyes immediately emailed the Federal Aviation Administration to let them know what she saw. But even the FAA are still clueless as to what the mysterious black disc was. And this is also not the first time that a UFO was seen flying near an airport. Number 2, UFO hovering over airport in Puerto Rico. This incident took place in Aguadilla, a city in Puerto Rico. The compelling footage was captured in April 2013, over the Rafael Hernandez Airport by a Customs and Border Protection aircraft. In this footage, we can clearly see that the forward-looking infrared camera tracking the movement of this UFO, was finding it extremely difficult to keep track of it, because of its intense speed and agile movement. In the footage, we can see a sphere-like object swiftly flying first over the airport and then over road and commercial buildings. Even the military personnel capturing the footage said, that the UFO exhibited characteristics that cannot be explained by any known aircraft or natural phenomenon. Also, they added that this UFO was definitely smaller than an aircraft, so maybe it was an alien probe sent to survey the airport area. The CBP aircraft continued following the sphere for more than 10 minutes, and during this time it slowly moved towards the ocean. That's where things got weirder, because the sphere suddenly dipped inside the water. And when it emerged out of the water, it split into two UFOs while traveling at the same speed. The UFOs again went underwater, but this time, never to be seen again. The military personnel were perplexed and horrified as to what they had just witnessed. 
Surprisingly, similar metallic spheres have been spotted over US military bases. Let's continue watching the video to find out more. Number 3, UFO seen in Oklahoma night sky. This is another sighting that took place just recently in 2024. On the 4th of March, an Oklahoma resident was enjoying a quiet evening with his kids, right outside his residence, when suddenly they spotted something abnormal above them. They saw an unusually bright object in the sky giving off luminous white light. Initially he thought it was a shooting star, but it was moving extremely slow to be one. Then suddenly, the UFO blasted a white plume of air resembling a shockwave which further perplexed the onlookers. Some actually think that this was just a rocket launch that is getting blown out of proportion. Surprisingly, on that same day, SpaceX did have a launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida but that launch took place at a totally different time and location compared to the UFO sighting. So was this just aliens keeping track of all the space launches that we do? Recently Elon Musk even said, I don't see any evidence of aliens. As Starlink satellites have never dodged UFOs. Or maybe these UFOs are just too quick to detect. We will further see two other UFO sightings that shockingly got very close to the US military. Number 4. Baghdad Phantom This sighting got nicknamed Baghdad Phantom as it took place in Baghdad, Iraq. This was an active conflict zone at the time of the observation. This sighting took place on May 14, 2022. Six classified images were taken north of the city of Baghdad, by the US Air Force using a Reaper drone with a thermal camera. These images were later released by filmmaker and ufologist Jeremy Corbell, who also leaked the Jellyfish UAP video at the start of 2024. The thermal spectrum could it be seen. But anything that looks like that appears to have a payload, that's a big deal. It could be dangerous, so these are high priority. When these six images were stitched together, you can clearly see a disc-like object, quickly zooming from left to right. Fast-moving crafts are powered by propulsion systems like rockets or engines that create heat. But the thermal camera that filmed the object showed it was colder than its surroundings. This goes to show that it was definitely not a rocket. It also implies that the spacecraft was made using highly advanced technology. For a second, you actually think that you are watching the UFO footage over LaGuardia Airport, but in infrared. Both these discs share a striking resemblance and were seen just two years apart near national and military air spaces. Was this the same UFO keeping an eye on America's military activity? The US military designated the disc as an unidentified aerial phenomena or UAP. Even RO which is an office set up by the Department of Defense to investigate unidentified flying objects, is now aware of this case and is carrying out its investigations. The filming of the Baghdad Phantom UAP was not an isolated UAP event in the area during this 24-hour period. UAPs consisting of various shapes were filmed during this UAP event series. But moving away from Baghdad, Another shocking UFO sighting took place right next to a US military fighter jet. Number 5, Tic Tac UFO. This sighting took place in 2004 and the footage was taken aboard a Navy fighter jet, from the nuclear aircraft carrier USS Nimitz. The footage was captured using a Raytheon advanced targeting forward-looking infrared pod, which consists of the most advanced sensors and tracking system in the world. The sighting of this oblong object took place at an altitude of almost 20,000 feet. Also this UAP was not giving out any plumes of smoke like a conventional aircraft. The fighter jet was moving at a speed of roughly 250 knots, that's almost 300 miles per hour. 
So this UFO was also moving at a relatively high speed just like the fighter jet. The fighter pilot constantly tried to change the mode of tracking to get a better understanding of the UAP, but to no avail. And then, after almost a minute and a half of tracking the UAP, it suddenly accelerated towards the left at an unprecedented velocity, moving out of the view of the sensor. The fighter jet was unable to track it after that. Were the aliens already aware that the US fighter jet was tracking them and were they just playing along? Number 6. Jellyfish UAP in Iraq This footage was first released on January 10, 2024 by investigative journalists Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp. Jeremy Corbell is a filmmaker and ufologist based in Los Angeles. He obtained this footage from 2018 of a military-filmed UAP incursion, within a United States Joint Operations Base in Iraq. This UAP was immediately nicknamed the Jellyfish UFO because of its jellyfish-like appearance. The US military drone monitoring this UAP could only view it in thermal vision. The drone that was designated to track this UAP, has the potential of locking in on the tire of a remote car from as far as 27 miles away. But this advanced US military drone found it difficult to lock on to this jellyfish UAP, thus indicating that some alien technology was trying to jam the signals of the drone, so that the UAP went undetected. And the odd part is it kept going white and black, meaning hot and cold instantaneously, so as to not get detected by the thermal vision camera. Which goes to show that this UAP knew it was being monitored for the heat it was emitting, and made immediate modifications to go undetected, thus implying that a sentient being was operating that UAP. After hovering over the US Army base for some time, the UAP then went out over a body of water, plunged into it, and stayed underwater for close to 17 minutes. And after 17 minutes, it shot out of the water at a 45 degree angle with tremendous velocity and disappeared. Did the UAP go underwater to hide from the US surveillance drone? Or was that part of its mission to survey the underwater area around the military base for further weaponry? Whatever be the case, the US military has no idea what it was. And if this UAP sighting was mind-boggling, wait till you see the next 11. Number 7. UFO seen by Colombian pilot. This sighting took place on May 4, 2023 over Antioquia in Colombia. The footage was captured by the pilot while flying in his Cessna T-303 Crusader. According to him, the object was first seen floating and appeared stationary at a specific point between Medellin and Santa Fe. As they approached the UAP, it suddenly moved towards them. He then moved his plane around and started filming. But as he did so, the UAP started moving towards them. He managed to avoid the UAP while flying at a speed of roughly over 300 km per hour. The pilot expressed fear during the encounter, insisting that the object was neither a balloon, a drone, nor any known object to him. Similar flying spheres were also seen in other parts of the world. Let's continue to know more. Number 8. UFO seen by Ukrainian soldiers during the Russia-Ukraine war. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently said, that he would use nuclear weapons if NATO deployed their troops on ground to fight against Russia alongside Ukraine. And it was after this horrendous nuclear threat by Putin, that a mysteriously eerie-looking UFO was seen by Ukrainian soldiers. This is the second time that a UFO has been spotted in a war zone. Normally UFOs have been seen above cities and also over mountains. But rarely have UFOs been spotted during an active war by soldiers. The footage shows Ukrainian soldiers from the 406th Battalion totally speechless and horrified, 
after seeing the UFO right in front of them. You can't blame them for such a reaction, as for a minute they actually thought that it was a new Russian aircraft, that was ready to attack them with a nuclear weapon. But this UFO was disc-shaped and was completely stationary, floating in air for the entire duration. This completely bamboozled the Ukrainian soldiers, who can be heard swearing in Russian, out of fear of not being able to comprehend what they had just witnessed. The scary footage was captured by a heat vision quadcopter drone used by the Ukrainian armed forces. This mysterious hovering object bears a striking resemblance to the Baghdad Phantom, a skinny, cylindrical object spotted above Iraq in May 2022, by the infrared heat camera of a US Air Force Reaper drone. And this was not the last time that trained military personnel came across alien spaceships. Number 9. UFO seen in the Middle East. The US Department of Defense released this classified footage in April 2023. This footage was taken somewhere in the Middle East, the exact location has not been disclosed. A military drone captured an apparent silver orb-like object that crossed the sensor's field of view. This video was recorded on July 12, 2022. The Department of Defense has said that in spite of multiple analysis, the object still remains unidentified. The flying object seems to be a round metallic shiny spear moving in a straight line. Then suddenly it moves to the right when the military drone tries to lock onto its position. This shows that the highly advanced technology of the UAP was able to detect the US military drone without any physical contact. Even till the end of the video, the military drone was not able to focus on the UAP as it kept dodging the sensor. Then one year later, in June 2023, NASA held a press conference to talk about that particular UFO sighting. NASA is also closely working with the Pentagon, to find out what exactly they had encountered in the Middle East. But this was not the first time that such a metallic sphere was seen by military personnel. As we move ahead, you will be shocked to see how close some UFOs got to the armed forces. Number 10. Triangular craft seen by the U.S. Navy. This footage was again leaked by ufologist Jeremy Corbell who had earlier released the Jellyfish UAP video. The video was recorded by U.S. Navy personnel, and was captured with a night vision camera, from the destroyer USS Russell in 2019. This was then leaked by Jeremy Corbell in 2021. The government's classified briefing clearly mentioned that the triangular UFO was definitely not owned by the United States or any other country or even a private spaceflight firm. Some think that this might be an advanced version of the Northrop, Grumman V-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, that the US military might have been testing at that time. The Stealth Bomber II has a triangular shape and has a similar flight pattern. Surprisingly, the military personnel who recorded this video said, that the UFO was behaving in unexpected ways. In addition, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, set up in 2020, couldn't determine what the craft was. Another massive UAP sighting bearing the shape of a triangle took place in Florida, USA. Number 11. UFOs spotted in Sunrise, Florida. This footage was recorded at night from a doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. In this video, three UFOs can be seen to move in the formation of an equilateral triangle. Such a formation would be very difficult to maintain when moving at high speeds by any of the current known aircrafts. The UFOs then eventually disperse in different directions. An eyewitness recorded another footage of the same event from another part of Florida, adding credibility to the sighting. This footage gives us a better understanding of how far apart the three UFOs actually are from each other. When seeing the first footage, 
Initially it looks like a singular ship with three lights shining at its three edges. But later you can clearly see that the three UFOs start acting independently, and move in opposite directions in precision synchronized fashion. Such synchronized movement has been seen at drone air shows. But it would have to be a very large drone, almost the size of an airplane, to shine so brightly in the night sky from such a high altitude. People in Florida are still clueless about what they witnessed that fateful night. But wait till you see the UFO that almost scared the Chilean military personnel. Number 12. UFO Spotted in Chile In 1997, the Chilean government officially created a committee for the study of anomalous aerial phenomena. The committee was created with the sole purpose of studying all reports of UAP activity by commercial military and civilian pilots. And one such documented incident that was highly publicized took place in 2014. Chilean naval officers came across a UAP while flying along the coast of Santiago in their helicopter. What they encountered left them totally dumbstruck and confused. They were at a height of about 4,500 feet and for 9 straight minutes, they kept recording this strange looking UAP. At first glance it looks like an elongated rocket moving horizontally. But as time goes by, the frontal part of the UFO moves ahead, leaving behind a long horizontal part. Even after studying the footage for two years, the Chilean military was unable to identify this unusual aerial phenomenon. Also it seems like aliens have a secret base on the moon, let's continue to know more. Number 13, UFOs spotted on the moon from Moscow. UFO activity is not just something that happens on Earth, but on our natural satellite as well. A photographer from Moscow, Russia, captured something on the moon that left him totally spellbound. Anyways there are conspiracy theories that the moon is an alien base, but this footage just solidified such beliefs. Back in 2019, a Russian photographer set up his equipment to shoot a full moon over the city of Moscow. And while trying to focus, he saw something very unusual. At first glance, he could see three circular objects moving near the surface of the moon. And then when he tried to refocus to confirm what he saw, to his amazement, now there were multiple circular UFOs moving at the same speed from left to right over the moon. It seemed like an entire battalion of UFOs was flying out for a mission over the moon. Analysts are still not able to deduce what exactly these flying circular lunar objects were. And seems like one of these alien spheres made it to South America. Number 14. UFO seen by a commercial pilot in Colombia. This by far has got to be one of the most hard-hitting evidence for UFOs that has ever been caught on tape. The one-of-a-kind video was recorded by the pilot of a commercial airplane in Colombia. In February 2020, an Airbus A320 was on a routine flight soaring over Medellin, Colombia. At about 30,000 feet in the air, the pilot decided to pull out his phone and record the view. But to his astonishment, he spotted a metallic cube with pointy edges moving seamlessly in a straight line. Now, if this was a weather balloon, it would sway from left to right, but this seemed to be moving forward in one direction, implying that it was being propelled by a powerful engine of sorts. A similar object was spotted by a US fighter pilot in 2018, over the Atlantic Ocean, at an altitude of 35,000 feet. That UFO has still not been identified, and its structure seems to be very similar to the cube-like structure, that was seen by the Colombian pilot in 2020. Whether these are alien manned spaceships, or just probes sent to monitor the area, neither the US nor the Colombian military has any clue. But these UFO sightings are nothing compared to what the US military encountered in California. Number 15. UAP spotted by Navy pilot in California. 
U.S. Navy pilots often fly over states for routine naval operations. But back in 2004, during one such routine aerial surveillance operation, a Navy pilot captured something very unusual on his radar. This incident took place off the coast of California. At first the pilot thought there was some error with his radar. But after some time, he realized that it was indeed an aircraft hovering right in front of him. It was an oval-shaped object that kept hovering in its position for quite some time. Even the pilot who recorded the footage said that this craft was not behaving according to the normal laws of physics. After noticing this weird craft, the pilot reported it to the Department of Defense. For nearly 16 years, the Pentagon kept this video classified but in April 2020, the Department of Defense released this video to the public. Two other classified videos were also made available to the public in 2020. The last UAP sighting even made the US military personnel jump out of his seat. Number 16, UFO seen by pilots in 2015. The second classified video that was made public, involved pilots coming across a flying saucer, moving at tremendous speeds. This incident took place in 2015, near the east coast of America. The pilots seemed bamboozled on seeing this UAP at first. What further shocked them, was the tilting movement of the craft from left to right, that it maneuvered mid-air while traveling at great speeds. The pilot also noted that the UAP was moving against the direction of the wind, which on that particular day had a speed of 120 knots, approximately 138 miles per hour. Thus, this flying saucer would need to possess immense power, to move at such great speeds in spite of such obstruction from the wind. The Department of Defense is yet to establish what exactly this UAP was. Number 17, UAP seen by Navy pilots over the ocean. The exact location of this final classified sighting has not been disclosed. But just like the previous two videos, the Pentagon made this classified video public in April 2020. This sighting took place just a few months after the tilting flying saucer was spotted on the east coast of America. From the video, it seems to be a metallic sphere moving in a straight line, racing across the surface of the ocean. This also bears a striking resemblance to the metallic sphere that was spotted in the Middle East in 2022 that kept dodging the sensor of the military drone. Luckily the skilled U.S. Navy pilots were able to lock onto the metallic sphere this time around. The Pentagon released the above three videos with the statement saying that, the Department of Defense is releasing the videos, in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public, on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real, or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain characterized as unidentified. And that's the same story even today, none of the UFO sightings have ever been confirmed with any concrete physical evidence. But UFO and alien hunters alike are hoping that 2024 will finally be the year, in which humans will get to see an alien spacecraft in real. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.